What's up guys, we're Deeper Disc Golf and today... Today, we're picking the perfect putter. We've got 24 of the best putters on the market. Shout out to Bang & Chains for providing the disc for us. Let's get into it, day two, picking the perfect putter. Deep Roots Disc Golf. We have 24 of some of the most popular putters on the market. We've got the Lunas, Roaches, Wizards, Judges, Pure, just to name a few. We've taken a few days to test each of them out with the ultimate goal of determining the perfect throwing slash putting all in one putter. You might be asking yourself, how are you guys going to know which putter is perfect? Well, if you've been watching our videos for a while, you'll know that we are some of the top putters on YouTube. Dylan slings putters all over the course, generally not in the direction of the basket. In an attempt to solve the lumber shortage, Nathan uses his putters as a more effective axe hacking way of trees. Eric's C1X putting percentage rivals Paul McBeth's Circle 2X putting percentage. So you tell us, who is better poised than us three to pick the perfect putter? Honestly, probably anybody else. Let's talk bracket seating. We gave the one seat to the putter that I use today, the Luna. We then used the Infinite Disc 2020 most sold putters list to seed the discs by sales volume. I'll put the link to that list down below. And finally, if the discs weren't on that list, we randomly assigned them to a remaining seat. All right guys, welcome to day two. So there's a few takeaways from our last video of which we'd like to address. Number one, we all learned for our first time today that the JK AVR is not the standard, the most popular AVR. We throw Innova frequently. Um, number two, since our last video, Disc Mania has come out with a massive announcement of which they will be manufacturing P2s again and their whole originals line. So we're super stoked. Again, we don't have the P2 for this video series, but we'd love to try it out yeah. some other time. Future video. Number three, I want to acknowledge that the World Championship for disc golf is going on right now. Eric, who are you cheering for? Chris Dickerson, baby, all Ooh, the way. Ooh, Dickerson. I'm a big Dickerson fan. Dylan, who are you cheering for? Uh, well, I got to stick with Team Trilogy, so let's go Chris Clemens. I mean, it's no secret for me. I'm definitely cheering for... Ricky Wysocki. <laughs> He's a big Ricky fan. I mean, I gotta be cheering. I'm cheering honestly for two people. Number one, cheering for Paul. Want him to get that six time would be amazing. Plus, I'd buy a bunch of his discs. I was gonna say we all need a, a new disc. Yeah. A new we, yeah. Excuse to buy a new Luna. The, a Luna with a six time on it? You kidding me? I'm buying that. Also, six fingers better than five. Yeah. Um, two hands. <laughs> I'm also cheering for Calvin to get his first world championship. Yeah. Like I, I hope I that could, I could hop on the Calvin bandwagon. That'd be too. That'd Calvin, be sweet. one of also my favorite like guys. See, see Brody do something. I would like to see Brody finish in top ten. Yeah. that would be especially since he, he rented out the entire driving yeah. range. So the one seed for day two is the Luna versus the eight seed, the P model US from Prodigy. Let's talk about the Luna. So the Luna, for those of you guys that don't know, you probably live under a rock, is the number one most sold disc in the world right now. The Luna is a shallow rim putter, beadless. Um, it's Paul McBeth's putter. He created it when he came to Discraft. I think that the Luna is a copy of the Roach and I want them to be reminded of that as they all really, really enjoy the Roach in the last video. So this is the PML US. It's like the newest putter in the Prodigy Ace line series. Uh, they've been really pushing hard this past year. It's supposed to be the understable version. I mean, I was really looking forward to and so I bought this disc. As a Prodigy guy, I've had mixed reviews so far. Um, I'm kind of like getting into my review already. I mean, it's called the US. I assume that in prodigious terms, that means understable. Yeah. Thing flies more stable than most of the discs that we have here. Yeah. Granted, it, it, I mean, again, we're trying to be plastic agnostic here. This is in the Duraflex plastic, which is significantly more stable than the uh, the base grip. This is actually my putter, but it's not very beaten at all, so it's not very understable. So, I will say, in past videos, I have hated on the Luna significantly. Um, I can specifically specifically think of the bag swap video where I had to use all of Nathan's discs. Um, chained out on me a bunch. This time, I really enjoyed it more than I thought I would. Um, and so I, great. I mean, I'm not going to say it's one of my favorite putters yet, but I, one, really enjoyed throwing it. I only threw it once before this video. Um, it's different from what I'm used to with the no bead. We're kind of throwing, we've been throwing a more beaten in one, so it's not quite as overstable as I'd imagine it would be out of the box. But the one that Nathan has is really, really nice. So yeah, 
Call it the rainbow Luna, it's in the putter bone plastic. Eric, does that mean you're voting Luna? I am voting Luna, yes. I'm also gonna vote Luna. Let's go on to the next round. The Luna moves on. Up next. So we're on to the next pairing. Um, first up, we've got the two seed Gateway Wizard. Here we have it in the super stupid, silly, soft plastic. Shout out to Dump Truck Jr., who's a Winston-Salem local. Um, if you're in the disc golf scene here in the triad, you may have probably have run into him. We played a tournament that he coordinated. Um, anyways, he designed the stamp, which I think is super sick. Um, super silly sick. Super silly, super stupid, stupid sick. Silly sick. Anyways, um, check these things out. So yeah, this was the two seed versus? Versus the seven seed, the Latitude 64, Mercy. The Mercy is in the retro plastic. A little bit about the Mercy. Honestly, it feels very similar to a Luna. It's a little bit flatter. It has a very tiny, maybe micro bead. It could just be some flashing left from manufacturing. Unsure on that. Overall, I'd compare it to a flatter Luna. Yeah, the Wizard is different in that, first off, this plastic is very unique. This is a beaded putter. It has a pretty significant bead on the bottom. Definitely deeper than a Luna, it feels to me. What do you say? It, yeah, I, yeah, I would say deeper than a Luna. I mean, these things are super popular. One of the top putters out there. Do you guys have thoughts on these? Yeah, so the Mercy I, I was throwing around today. Um, I was able to hyzer flip this thing very reliably. It actually flew the farthest out of any of the discs that I, f I threw today, right around 300 plus feet. Yeah, um, cranking that we thing. were throwing a headwind too, so I think this thing has some more distance achievable out there. I think it's really hard to be plastic agnostic on this disc because it is, uh, I've thrown Wizards in the past and they were significantly more overstable, I would say. Did you guys feel like this thing was really understable? Yeah. Like it flipped and turned over per substantially. I'm not sure we can give it the most fair view in terms of overall. I loved this thing for putting though. Um, it feels a lot, like in terms of the bead, which I love, it's a, it's a substantial bead, but it feels really good, like, like point and shoot coming out of the hands for putting. And I love a softer plastic for putting, and this thing, I mean, it's great. So in terms of my personal preference on the putting side, I really enjoyed this disc. Yeah, I, if I think back to our gateway video, I remember consistently not choosing the wizard and choosing like things like the magic or the warlock over the wizard, that's just my preference. Because of that, I'm gonna have to go Mercy. The Mercy just didn't stand out to me. Um, you know, it's tough when we're throwing this many different putters. I felt like there were other putters that were similar that I liked better. So I'm gonna go Wizard for the fact that I love putting with it. So I like the Mercy just because of how flat it is. I like I like the flat feel, but this one this one just sat better sat better in my hand for me than the Wizard did. So so the brand had nothing to do with brand it. Brand had nothing to do with it. <laughs> All right, two seeds out again. Second round, you know. QC didn't make it out in the first video, and there it goes again. So, Mercy's moving on. And the Mercy moves on to the next round. Up next. All right, we're on to our third matchup of this side of the bracket. We've got the three seed, the Pure. Versus the six seed, the Discraft Challenger. Yeah, I'm really excited for this matchup because we've got Discraft here, but I know that Nathan enjoyed this disc, so. <laughs> so a little bit about the Challenger. It's a beaded, overstable putter. Um, to me, honestly, most Discraft discs feel like a Luna. This is no different. It flies similar to a Luna. It's a little bit more overstable. More it's overstable. just got a beat. Yeah. I'm gonna make this one short, honestly. I thought the Pure was the surprise of the day, of this day for me. The Pure flew like a buzz, honestly. Like it flew very far, very reliably. A point and shoot straight is what I would say there. The Challenger, a great putter. A lot of people use it. Um, I don't like beads. If I had to choose one disc out of this bracket that flies over stable as a putter and made by Discraft, I'm going to Luna. So for this matchup, I'm gonna vote Pure. Interesting, voting against his brand. Um, I'm gonna go Pure for similar reasons. It flew very reliably, stable. Um, plastic feels really nice. Um, this, this Opto plastic from Latitude 64. This was a putter that honestly I had never heard of and because I haven't tried, you know, all these putters before. Um, and I really enjoy it, so I'm going Pure as well. Pure moves on. And the Pure moves on. Up next. All right, we bring you here to the four seed, the R-Pro Pig versus... The Discmania Logic. So a little bit about the Pig, uh, maybe a little out of place compared to its other competitors here. It is a putter. I would put it 
well into the approach category. More stable than a zone. You cannot turn this thing over unless you've got a pro arm. Uh, this is Ricky Wysocki's go-to disc, his signature series disc. Um, so it gets a ton of use out there. So we learned our lesson on the pig. We use it in the approach video. Yeah, a little bit. This is from their Evolution line, the Logic. Really flat on top, um, got a good depth to it. Maybe a little micro bead, but not much. This disc, I really liked as well. Kind of another disc that surprised me that I didn't know a lot about. Um, feels, would you say Luna-ish? I would say Luna-ish, maybe even Deputy-ish. I recall myself being able it to does feel get this disc yeah, to right. do what I wanted to on a variety of different lines. Um, it's brand new, it's touch on the stable side, brand new, but I still could turn it over and have it hold that rainbow Anheuser, so. I know what I'm picking. Um, I know what I'm picking. This disc shouldn't be in this category. Yeah, kind of a cop out. No, no shots at the pig here. I know a lot of people love that disc, but. Great disc. Logic. Now, before we do this, we have to recognize the Innova is now out of the competition. DQ'd. Bang. Goodbye, piggy. Logic moves on. Let's head into round two. All right, on to round two. One C is the Luna. All right, so for me, not gonna lie, I actually really like this disc. Um, I liked it more for throwing than putting. Um, for me, it just doesn't line up well in my fingers to putt, but for throwing, it may have thrown the best out of all these discs here. Um, may have. When Paul McBeth designs it, what can, you, what can you say? You can say it's a roach. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we got the 4C Logic here. Um, I've already given some of my thoughts on this. How about this? Of the Disc Mania Disc, the Shogun and the Logic, the ones that we tested, what would you pick? This one for Logic. Sure. The Shogun, the Shogun was great for throwing. I, I think this is a better overall like combo putter since we're doing like an overall video here. What do you think? What are you voting for? The Luna. Voting for the Luna. His eyes are burning, but his heart is clear and he's made a pure decision. <laughs> clear eyes, full hearts, can't lose. Eric? I don't know, I'm torn. So I'm not trying to hate on Discraft here. Specifically for the Luna, I agree with what Dylan said about it being an excellent throwing putter for me. I would say that it was my least favorite Discraft putter of all the ones that we used for putting. Ah, awesome. banger eyes probably liked less. I'm so torn because I liked this a lot better for putting, but this is a much better throwing putter. Torn, Eric, we can go to the statistics. Again, I'll remind you that the Luna is the <laughs> best selling putter in 2020. I mean, at the end of the day, Dylan already voted for Luna. I know what Nathan's going to hold her. So I, I'll go Luna and just hop on the bandwagon. <laughs> Luna Bros! <laughs> Luna moves on! Gonna win. Luna makes it to the finale. Up next. Next up, we've got the four seed, Latitude 64 Pure, and the seven seed, Latitude 64 Mercy. Lat 64 battle here. Um, battle of two discs that are supposed to fly very straight. And this one was a little bit more overstable, but I think that's plastic and the fact that it's brand new to a certain extent. This Heiser flipped really reliably for me, and I know Nathan loved it. He cranked that thing. Mm -hmm. um, fine disc. So when I picked these discs up, I putted with these two because obviously they're true. To be honest, it was a little hard for, harder for me to putt with the Mercy than it was the Pure. Now, throwing, a little bit of a different story. They both fly really straight. We've already addressed that. I turned this one over a little bit more, which makes me think that I need something a little more overstable. I don't know, I kind of like it though. I'll be honest, in terms of putting, it feels better to me putting than this pure does. Which disc are you guys sending onto the finale? Dylan, you go first. You going pure? Going pure. I'm going Mercy <laughs> after that. I mean, he goes. So I didn't perfect. vote for it in the first round, but uh, I mean, as I'm thinking about it between these two, this specific matchup, I think that I liked this disc more. All right, so my honest opinions about both these discs is this one's a bomber, freaking flyer. Uh, this disc is one of the more accurate putters I've ever thrown. I could get this thing to do any, everything I could from a buzz. In the spirit of like trying to pick the best disc, though, I think I would still pick pure. And it's Pure versus Luna in the finale. Final round. All right, we're here at the finale. We got the Luna. Yeah, we upgraded to Big Z here. And the Pure. There's a lot that I can say about the Luna. I've said it, number one, best-selling disc of 2020. Number two, you guys both, yesterday, both of you, and I have video evidence, claimed to really, really enjoy the Roach. Well, the Roach is just a worst-named Luna. Literally, 
Hold, hand me that roach, Dylan. I'm, pu I'm holding the roach literally right next to Luna. The roach might be a millimeter deeper. That's about it. It does come in a different plastic and that's why it might feel different to you guys. But the roach and the Luna are very similar discs. I think the roach just has one of the worst names in disc golf. Who wants to go buy something that sounds like cockroach? It's amazing that it's in the top 10 at all with that name. But Luna is a well-branded Roach. And if you like the Roach, you're voting Luna. I'm really thinking this over now. Yeah, it's just a tad bit deeper. That's it. Interesting. If you think about it, this rim right here, a little more flat, which it, to me feels better. So it doesn't matter what plastic, it's the rim. The way it feels in the hand. Or trying not to think about brands. I had to stick with my Pure. I like it better than the Luna. For me, this was a lot better putting than it was with the Luna. The Luna, I had a hard time keeping it straight. I could keep this one pretty flat, pretty straight. We're doing the overall. So overall, I like this better. I like throwing this one better, but for putting, it was bad. A little bit of a wild card here. What's the best roller disc out of the bunch? The best roller disc? The Luna, man, the Luna rolls. <laughs> Nothing rolls better than the Luna, are you kidding okay, me? Okay, well, yeah, that's fair. But that's when you miss a putt. <laughs> Really want. Yeah. <laughs> I will say, okay, so the Pure um, of the of the two days has been my favorite disc that's not already in my bag. But the Luna's in my bag and I like the Luna a lot better than the Pure. Because of that, the Luna wins today. I have all the power here. This is a tough position to be in for me. I don't want to disappoint anyone, but I just gotta go with what I like. I gotta be honest here and say that some other discs I would have chosen over the Luna. Like if we got to the end here and it had been the logic, I almost picked it in the last round over the Luna. Um, I really thought about it. I can't pick the Pure over the Luna. Sorry, Dylan. I don't think that it's a better all around disc. I didn't enjoy throwing it more than I enjoyed throwing the Luna. Um, I still don't like this as a putter for me personally, but this didn't blow me away. This putter itself just wasn't one of my favorites and this thing threw so nicely that I could see myself using in that capacity if I had to. Um, it's never going to be my putting putter, but it feels really nice in the hand. It's obviously one of the most popular discs out there, as Nathan has told us. Check point. the poll, guys. Check the Check poll. The Check the poll. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna send it on. I'm gonna send it on. Luna, on to the next round. And the Luna takes down day two. Tune in Monday to see if the judge survives judging. I mean, this is tough. This is a biased video. This is our opinion on what the perfect putter is, and it's by committee. Um, so we're giving you some of our thoughts but take it for what it is. All feels right in the world because, again, the Roach was in second place yesterday to a very competitive EV7, of which you both admitted you like the Roach. I do like the Roach. And the Luna is very similar to the Roach. Yeah. So all is right. Sit in day three, Dylan. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching. If you like what we're doing, like and subscribe down below. Let us know what you would have picked out of this bracket. Um, Obviously we chose the Luna, the Pure was close. The Mercy also had some, some good uh, talking points. But let us know what you think, and we'll see you in the next video. That was a good throw. <laughs> I dropped it. <laughs> Today, picking the perfect putter. Oh, I the camera. Wizard was done dirty. <laughs> <laughs>